Wow, good morning everyone. <laughs> we have a few people who are on their way out or already left and said goodbye to us. But yeah, it feels really good to come together now just to, you know, seemingly bring a closing to the last seven days, but really launching in this um, the next phase. Yeah, this morning I think I was just having a coffee there and Peter came, just gave me this biggest hug and he just said, you knew, right? You knew what happened. <laughs> and what happened was he, he said, I finally surrendered after 55 years of struggling. And, and we all know that feeling, you know, even whether it's conscious or unconscious, there's some kind of battling that's going on every minute. It's like there's still some kind of protection, some kind of guarding going on without even knowing what we're guarding, what we're protecting. But that is what seems to be this subtle energy and something just popped this morning for him. He said 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> that was a specific. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> he is taking Jeffrey <laughs> and and Kaz, right? All the way to Kuji. Yeah. He's in the burst. He's definitely in the burst. <laughs> yeah, just the the seeming thing that seems so impossible and hard and he was talking with me this morning about this um movie, uh, older movie, Jack. Jack Nicholson about breaking through this impossible prison, <laughs> and yet what what happened? What can break this prison is something that's so simple as well. It's just this something happens that allow us to totally surrender. That is. Peter burst. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> You've been revealed. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's like, what's so beautiful is that it's like you know that there is things to clear ahead. You know that your mind, you're going to have a lot of unconscious darkness coming up. But it reminds me a bit of 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 our cast of characters in The Wizard of Oz, you know, when they're in The Wizard of Oz, it's not all a picnic. There is a, a green witch with a crooked nose flying around on a broom, and there's flying monkeys that can come and take you up at any point, and there's all kinds of things that are there, but you know, you see they take hand, their arm in arm, and off they go down the yellow brick road. Uh, even with flying monkeys, even with the witches, Wicked Witch of the West, even being in a land that, that they're not too sure what's going to happen next, that's very common to the world. Like we had with the election last night, I'm getting all these things, and how do we prepare, how do we deal with this? You know, they're, it, they're happy, but, but they're side by side, they're going down the yellow brick road, they arm in arm, hand in hand, rough to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Wonderful. You see, they're optimistic. They're arm in arm. They've got the mighty mates on all sides. They're the arms are locked. Whatever there was, the wizard there was. Whatever, da, 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 da. whatever there was, the wizard was. The wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Da, 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 da. You know, you you're all in that place now. You can you you've got the mighty mates, your arm in arm, and we're not trying to ch sugarcoat. Oz. This place is actually called Oz. When I, they always say, "Are you, are you flying down to Oz?" and I said, "Yes, I'm going to Oz." Yes, that's, that's his nickname for. Uh, I like that better than down under. <laughs> that sounds really heavy. Where are we going? Down under. <laughs> are we talking about Hades, Hell, Purgatory? No, Oz. <laughs> So we're really, we're optimistic here in Oz, and, and we're ready for the journey, whatever we have to take. 
whatever comes our way, you know, that's that's good. It's beautiful. And the part of it, you can share what we're doing today. I mean, that's what we do with these final closing sessions: is we really just express what's what's happened. Yeah, because um, I think that hopefully that is something that that really um, become obvious is that we're not alone on this journey and we're all together. We're all ready and what is really is going to happen is at any minute, at any moment, we can actually say no more and I'm ready. I'm ready to break this prison. That seems very hard, seems very, you know, very solid, but something in my heart that is soft, that's light, that is gentle, is ready to say, yeah, I'm going to give over to this light and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm ready. And we're just here together to, to be in this moment of yes to that, to that gentleness and to that light, to, to that burst, you know? So, yeah, it's just feeling very, very good to have spent this seven, seven days together and continue on together for this. So uh, normally um, when we come together in the last session, we just want to hear from you and see what, what happened and what miracles have occurred, what insight you have received. Because really, this is what we want to remember and we want to keep in our awareness. You know, no matter what darknesses are there, the ego patterns are there, what we really want to remember and extend and keep in our mind is the miracles, the insights and the, the thoughts of the spirit that, that are true to us. Those are the, you know, the, the sparks in our mind that we want to extend and, and keep it ignite, keep it in flame. So this is what we want to, want to do, want to hear from you, want to hear about what happened and what is going on right now in your heart. And then, um, yeah, we just join the celebration and encourage each other to continue on this journey. Microphone is ready. <laughs> Where, where? Yeah, we'll start here. Yeah, around, or we, you want everyone, or? Just going around? Yeah. yeah. It will just go around. Yeah. Um, for me, there's been not one, but many. Um, and it kind of amounted yesterday, and it's come through. Um, Gabriel, Gabriel has helped give me permission again to hear the song or the music of heaven, if that's the right word. Um, but it kind of came to it yesterday that I just have to drop everything. There's been projects I've been working on for 20 years, some of them, and everything has to go, and then we see what I pick up afterwards. Um, I have to go home and work this out with my family and my wife and various things. And, um, of course, the grief was quite strong in me when I realised I have to drop every role. And Jesus just said, well, you have no idea how the form's going to look like, so I don't think you're grieving for losing anything at this stage. It's a little bit early. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's been more than one thing for me as well, but um, I was on that Jekyll and Hyde thing, and, I, and, and it's interesting because almost as soon as I parked the car, I felt the peace come over me, and I'm just buzzing from ear to ear, and I... I just, I've just been in that place of peace, to be really honest with you, and I, I do, I do want to thank you very much. And now uh, we're, we're going to uh, see you in Kuji, is that it? Yeah. And so we decided to be your groupies. <laughs> 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 so we're going to group along. <laughs> and uh, I, I particularly want to thank the staff for the, uh, all the effort and the wonderful food and everything. That's just been completely awesome. And um, yeah, I'm just really grateful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to us. Tell us. Oh, Tell us. 
<laughs> Tell us the way well, I the went way. down to the valley to pray Studying about that good old way And who should wear that thorny crown Good Lord, show me the way <laughs> Oh, brothers, let's go down Let's go down, come on down Oh, sisters, let's go down Down in the valley to pray <laughs> Ah, oh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I'll tell you, I will tell you just a little thing. So it's not easy, it's it's not easy to in a way if we're stuck there. I oh, know because I've been there to um to arrive here, but uh, and yet it's so easy in an instant. You're there, you just drop it and surrender. So, but anyway, so this morning. Because I have been battling with this. It's been a beautiful journey, but there's been battles for me too. What did you, I think I've heard the beautiful metaphors, the two wolves. One wolf gets a hold and then the other comes in and whatever. But anyway, anyway, so, but this morning I, I woke up quite early and I was, I mean, yesterday was a low day for me. This morning I'm in there going, all right, what's going on, brother? <laughs> and, um, and I'd already been through all of the things. It all makes so much sense. And yet, so why don't I just surrender? And I did. And I thought to myself, I can't wait to see Johnny, because Johnny's been a special part of the journey. We've been sort of supportive of each other and so on. I could tell some stuff there, but all I'll say is this. I, I wondered what the time was, so I got my phone. It was dark. It was still dark, and I grabbed the, the old phone, old phone and, and turned it on, and I thought to myself, I can't wait to see Johnny, so I can say, brother, I'm just going for it. And as I did so, I was in my in the back of my car with all the curtains closed, and it was still dark. It it, it was five thirty, but it, as it, it not even five thirty. But as I um and as I said to myself, I'm just you're going for it, brother. And the and the light just came on flat out in the in the dark car, and I was blinded by the light. <laughs> Don't apologize. This, I've, I've wanted some charisma here. This this country started as a, pe- a penal colony. Now, now, now. <laughs> this is it. The first. He's looking at the flowers. Yes. <laughs> This is what I needed on that morning call this morning I had. I, I kept talking about the burst, the burst, the, the burst. <laughs> That's it. There you go. That's it. That's so cool. Maybe, yeah, maybe so, but that's worth everything. That's that's worth my whole trip to Oz. I just come to Oz for these moments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and and you've carried the, all the way across. Okay, to Pam. So Pam is ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> you passed the torch. <laughs> I don't know why I've got the torch. I wasn't ready. <laughs> My mind was saying, oh, let's plan what you're going to say and work it out. Sort of thing. <laughs> but after seeing that verse, I was like, I'm ready! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Ah. Mine's a quieter. (laughs) Which is lovely for me. Um, I guess I was thinking, I'm a restless soul, or I have been a restless soul, and I've searched everywhere. And I feel like the search is at an end. And that's why the quietness is lovely. I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude for the people in my house. Um, This morning again, (laughs) the five o'clock wake up, 
oh God, is this true? You know, what's going on? I don't, I don't know. All the chatter, 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 chatter. And I've just talked to my housemates and it's, it's cause I think I'm afraid, well I know I'm afraid to go home and lose what I have. Um, and I know I won't. And, it, and the words, it's so, as I was driving here today, I was driving through the mist and it's like a journey of my life through the mist. I was coming in the car through the mist and it's like, Kathy, just go into the mist. It's lovely. It's really lovely. And here I am at the end of the mist, here. Um, and it's let it be, let it be, let it be. Um, all the restlessness ceases, let it be. And we couldn't remember the line, of the, 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 it was Mother Mary comes to me. We couldn't remember. What was that word? What, were that, what was that sentence? Speaking words of wisdom. Wisdom, Mother Mary. We got to listen to words of wisdom and we just couldn't get Mother Mary comes to me. And it came to me in the mist, Mother Mary comes to me. And um, so my heart has fallen overflowing with gratitude and love for what has been offered me. And all I need to do is hold it and share it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I have to admit, I had some trepidation when I heard that the title of this retreat was A Gift in Happiness. I was hoping that everyone wasn't going to just be going around pretending that they're happy. <laughs> and thankfully, that hasn't been my experience and I felt very supported in um, digging to find all the blocks to joy and being very supported and uh, safe to to really go deep with that. And a song that keeps coming to me over the time since I've been here, that if the Holy Spirit had a song he wanted to sing to me, it would be, shut up and dance with me. Hmm. Yeah, the thing that's been coming to me a lot the last six months has been sort of a lot of messages of just relax and like, yeah, different kinds of relaxation, like meditation, but also relaxing and that came in on the, really the first day here for me was just kind of like, uh, yeah, just to kind of relax and let go and, and trust was under that. I saw like I wasn't really trusting. So it was like, um, yeah, just like a, a deeper message of just relaxing. That's okay for me to just let go and not worry about anything. And uh, yeah, so even when I was coming here, I had, you know, I haven't been away on a big holiday for a while and I was worried a little worry about the food and just, you know, thought camping would be fun but there's still a few worries and, and when I got here it was like you can just relax and it's all taken care of. Um, yeah, it's been really and just sort of the whole seven days has been like just kind of like resting in that stillness and um, place of relaxation. Yeah, so it's been really lovely. And uh, I think it's the second or the third day um, after after the morning talk, I had kind of a <coughs> vision thing of like the everyone, like how we're all kind of connected. We're all sort of, uh, you know, I've read it in the course about how we're all one and we're all um, kind of, part of the same mind and it just sort of seemed to sort of it was a vision of that it just seemed to be much more alive and much more real and that stayed with me and uh, that was really beautiful as well I'm very grateful for that um,
Yeah. So that's. Thank you, everyone, for joining me in that in that peace and and stillness this week. I'd just like to say how grateful I am for this really <coughs> hard, touching, um, connecting experience and the expression sessions, which were really <clears throat> profound and just, you know, feeling everyone's, everyone's the same and we're all experiencing the same emotions and fears and... Um, and just and Dave as well for expressing himself in the very beginning. He's um, sort of the way shower. Really stepped up. And for me, it's just remembering the pause and not getting into my head and fearful. And just accepting. everything like all the good and the bad and what perceive what I perceive as good and bad is just all perfect and it's all for learning and just keep handing it over all the time so that I can live in freedom. Thank you. First of all, uh, thanks for thanks for setting the direction for my thinking for this final moment, Francis. To the good, to the good things of the week, um, because there's been a lot of darkness, and there's probably more to come. But I'm not worried about that right now. <coughs> um, so. I'll start by thanking everyone because um, what I've got along the way is this, this uh, and I'll try to get the word right, the inestimable worth of my brothers on this journey. Um, some of the bravery that got shown in our, in our expression sessions uh, I got to see that it's not just me. It's not just this tiny little me that's doing this. It's it's a it's a it's a bigger me. It's a way it's way bigger. And every every bravery, every act of bravery to open up and reveal a secret, a dark a darkness, a fear. was for me, it was also for me. So I, I've been through some personal stuff, but what's of greater greater impact to me is that everyone went through personal stuff and all of it seems to have finally helped me. And uh, and so thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of the amazing people that participated. Uh, now, when I arrived at the the retreat, of course, I had ideas about what what I wanted or what I thought it was about. Um, but oddly enough, now at the end of it, I've got my answer. Just even just as late as this morning, um, And because I've got my answer, that's what's going to go with me. And so many, so many things have been answered in that. So the direction is very clear. The, the tools are very, very clear. And while not always comfortable, they definitely work. They get me to where I need to. They get me in there. 
deeper than I've been willing to go so far, but now I feel confident and safe to do that. So I'm going to continue with this. Um, uh, and while I'm not as excited as Pete, uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a very, there's a very sure, uh, there's a pounding in my heart and I'm just so grateful. And uh, you're an inspiration to me. You really are. Some of your talks out the, out the front there uh, have impacted me deeply. Thank you, Francis. And thank you, David. Thank you. Um, we are sharing what was most beneficial, yeah? Um, so I really um, loved the clearing groups because after always I felt really light and elevated and connected and like nothing can ever, ever, ever upset me again um, until the next upset came. <laughs> and, um, so yes, I was looking very much forward to them. and. Um, I'm very, very grateful to um, Francis's time with me. I know, I, I don't know, something really touched me when I was with Francis because she, she kind of gave me permission to, to, to be the way I am, to have this darkness coming up and and that I'm not doing anything wrong by more darkness coming up that is just going to come up until I've seen all of it. And then the glorious day will come when all the darkness is gone. And um, yeah, it felt like a great relief that that is kind of normal or the process and I'm very grateful for this and I don't know something else happened which I can't explain it's like she turned some sort of switch I, I can't explain it yeah so I'm very very grateful <sighs> thank you Just, just as I hold, held this mic, um, I'm feeling a little flutter in my heart, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what what to say because I I came here uh, with a very very open mind and and I wanted to just go with the flow and and not not me not let me be the past me. I wanted to let the spirit lead me in every moment. That's what I wanted to do here and meet with my, join with my brothers and, you know, not judge them. And I think this retreat has given me a great opportunity to practice all of that. And I'm, I'm feeling very light. And the word simple comes to my head. This whole thing is very simple. Really, it's very, very simple. <clears throat> And ego just tries to make it complex, you know. Every now and then, the moment you start to enjoy, the ego just slips in. And uh, I'm healed, you know. I come here, I, I'm, I'm not, you know, many opportunities to practice acceptance of way, the way it is, the way spirit is bringing things in front of me, just accept it, it is as it is. And, and I've been very comfortable with that, you know. And, and whatever stuff came up for me, it was a good opportunity for me to see the underlying beliefs which I have to let go as well. And uh, to me, really, there's only one purpose, and that is to heal. And you helped me, David, um, in answering some of my questions, and it has kind of given me another level. I think, I think not even another level, that example of your yesterday that the Jesus throws the rope and you just hang on to where you are. It was such a opening for me, and I literally felt that I'm at the end of that rope. Jesus, take me now, the last step. <laughs> you know, 
I'm here now. I've done enough of this 20 years. I want to be there, you know, with you. And I think he's got me. He's really, really got me. I can see that, you know, that the end of the rope. That's it. I'm, I'm now leaping into it, into, into that word of Krishna or Christ, similar sounding names, you know, and no, no, no judgment. It's beautiful, you, you know, it's a course says the more instant you drop judgment, healing happens. The rest is just, you just stuff. That's it. <laughs> That's, you know, it's, a, it's amazing. It's really, really amazing. And, and I was just thinking, you know, I'm wearing this thing. And this is my, my Indian guru who taught me the spirituality. But you know what? I must say that I need a, another one with your photo at the back. <laughs> <laughs> of, your, of your sketch on, a, on an orange one. I can wear one day each. <laughs> because when you walked into my house four months ago and I was near to the court, you have shown me the spirit-led life. He has shown me spirituality. You have shown me what spirit, how to live a spirit-led life. Yeah. And I'll leave it there. That's, that's what I got. Thank you. Long live Sanjay Ji. <laughs> <laughs> For me, this has been a journey into simplicity. <laughs> um, my life's been calling me into simplicity for years already. And when I came here, I was fully prepared to be really challenged. Challenged in whatever ways I, I could be, by living in community, sharing a bedroom, you know, being in the presence of this beautiful energy. And, and I, I realised I've always looked at life as a challenge and that the amount of difficulty and the amount of suffering that I had to overcome was somehow a measurement of my progress. <laughs> and I've realised during this week, because I haven't been challenged and I haven't suffered, and, and I'm sort of going, well, what's wrong? What am I not getting here? <laughs> And I've just, been, I've just been entertaining the idea that maybe life is really simple <laughs> and that, um, that there's really nothing I have to do. Um, I always thought there was a huge amount more that I had to let go of, and I'm sure there will be a continual letting go. But somehow I, I don't see it the same way anymore. And, um, and I just wanted to say um, to David specifically that... Um, I found your energy really inspiring because it's just really given me the feeling that life could be lived in joy, but also that the spiritual path itself could be a path of joy. And in the past, I always thought it had to be really serious and really difficult, and I had to be tested. And, you know, and it's like, do I have to keep doing that forever? <laughs> so... Yeah, it's been a very simple and beautiful time for me. And I also wanted to thank all the people who prepared this house, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the food, the way everything's been organised and has been put together and flowed so smoothly. It's like a sanctuary, this place. I mean, the whole property is. But And all the people I've shared this journey with, it's just been a blessing. So thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Kind of, uh, <laughs> one more thing I, I do I want to say there are so many I came here to join brothers there are so many brothers have inspired me but there's one man here who has really really inspired me and I want to give him a big hug and he is the most cuddliest here in this room this man here Jeff <laughs> <laughs> So much in last six days, my brother, you have. Literally, I don't know what, but there's some love light in you. <laughs> he is an amazing guy. Amazing. I've learned so much. Literally. Today he cooked bacon there and I was watching with him and he ch even chanted an Indian uh, bhajan with me, you know. He even, uh, you know, Ram, Ram, Ram. He was, he was just amazing. <laughs> we shared so much. You have inspired me, literally, you have touched my heart. I can emulate you. Thank you. These last two sharings have, have inspired a song in me. 
La 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 live for today. Hey, la 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 live for today, and don't worry about tomorrow anyway. <laughs> Doing a quick battery Good, I, I can always sing in the interlude. <laughs> I always like to be singing. Um, I've been a groupie of Jeff's as well. <laughs> um, I've had so many realisations this week, so... I couldn't possibly <clears throat> refer to all of them, but um, it has been a truly awesome week in the true sense of the word awesome. Every, every one of you have, have mirrored to me something very profound and significant, um, and I could individually explain all of that, but of course I won't. So that's been extraordinary in itself. That, um, and when I when I say significant and profound, I really do mean significant and profound. Um, once again, in the true sense of the word. Um, I have been searching for a long time, and. This week, I feel as though I've really taken a fast track with my learning. And I am deeply, profoundly and sincerely um, very, very thankful for that opportunity. I'm very grateful to Sue in particular for having us here. This, this is such a good thing happening here. Um, I feel as though I've rejoined the human race and over the last couple of years I've increasingly withdrawn from people and I've increasingly um, lost my faith in people and it feels like a real restoration of all of that along with um, the learnings and so many profound aha moments and the realisation that in the end it's simple. It's simple and um, so I thank everyone equally, equally um, for this opportunity. Um, I shared at the start of the retreat that I have a lot of fear um, and about a month ago, um, I got a message to make, make the commitment to trust first rather than, you know, waiting for the world and people to give me reasons to trust. Um, so it was a huge step coming here um, to come out of my comfort zone. Um, and I had a huge surrender of this fear before I even came on the retreat and got the message that you've already received the atonement. It's just now been in a state of allowance and being. Um, I think I had these huge expectations that this was going to be a really traumatic experience and, um, you know, to release everything. But it's really just been really graceful, loving, gentle, um, step by step. And I have felt a lot of happiness and joy. Um, and seeing that there's a real strength in being vulnerable and exposing myself and being seen by others, um, you know, there has been a real heart joining by doing that. Um, yeah, but I can see, obviously, I've got still got a lot to go. Um, but that's, this has given me, you know, a lot of motivation and determination to stay on this path because it really feels like it's the only way. Um, so, yeah, I'm really grateful for everyone that I met. Um, I feel like everything that you guys have said has been for me. Just It's just been amazing. Um, and thanks to Michael. I know you've spent some time with me. So, yes, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond words. Wow. Like, I had my pop brushing my teeth this morning. And the last year just 
every little puzzle piece fell into place and I just went, wow. But in that I realised, and I may not be quoting the course correctly, but there's, there's no measure in miracles. There's so many little miracles this I couldn't even begin to tell. But for me, in a year-long journey of following the calling and just going with it and surrendering and not knowing and embracing the not knowing and enjoying the not knowing and then having it revealed and then to have a year-long journey of that from the Andes Mountains through the Tahitian Islands, Malaysia, New Zealand, China, (laughs) the United States, Uluru and back to here and it dropped in here on the night of the election and it was I was guided you're here doing this journey to support humanity through this election and I was like I'm not political or I'm not an activist or anything like that no interest but what I was shown is there was an opportunity because people were going there has to be a better way and so I was just anchoring and living what I know to be true with my brother my biological brother, with my parents, with my partner, with those in community with me, with everybody, with you guys here. And yesterday, I got it on one level, and this morning, brushing my teeth, I got it on the bigger level, and I've just gone, just keep going, just keep going, just keep following the call, just keep doing it, and it's it's fun, it's great, it's wonderful. It's so easy. I thought in, you know, 10 years ago or more when I started on that calling, I thought, oh, this is hard work. This is overwhelming. I can't do this. Um, who's going to do it with me? It's all too weird and out there. And now it's all grounded. Now it makes sense. And, yeah, I'm very grateful. Very grateful for that coming full circle and realising everything I've been doing has been fully guided and not to question it anymore and to just keep going. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you to everybody here and thank you to Dave. Um, He has just been such an inspiration. Um, He's in our expression session group and uh, there's another lady too, but I think she must have gone. But the, the courage that they have shown to speak their heart truth and, um, other people here too, Nicole, and uh, other people. It's just so, such a blessing. It's so refreshing and it just feels so beautiful to be naked. (laughs) 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 Thank you. That's so funny because when I very first started on the spiritual path and knew nothing, I went to a retreat that was a year long, two weeks to start in, in group. And my biggest fear is that this teacher who was pretty out there was going to ask us all to dance naked under the moonlight together (laughs) and howl at the moon or something. I haven't taken... I I did take my clothes off once, but... (laughs) But uh, now I understand what being naked is all about. (laughs) And there's nothing to be frightened of. Thank you. For me, it's just been... And confirmation, I guess, being here with all of the messages and all of those who've come together to um, create this event. It's just, it's just the way I want to live, and uh, and just letting go of the need to have to understand the greater picture or vision or how it needs to look, and just take the next step and. Uh, and how joyful that can be and to really open to be more revealing of what I would fear to bring up um, that I might be judged uh, or I might be perceived as not ready to um, walk the path to extend what God would have me, you know, do and say, and uh, and so for me being here, it's been some of the pathways I've explored. I've 
felt a real deep resonance through so many different streams, but the resonance has always been presence and that, that the love that is beyond that so-called stream or way. And, uh, and so I know that, that what I've opened to, that my mind at times questions, how does this, how does this support me to truly know God? I, I know that um, God will show me <laughs> and that I don't need to understand at that level of how it all works, how all the things that I've been guided to in my life will serve the greater vision you know, that, that I'm here and we're all here to share through just being um, done through. Yeah, so um, it's been really beautiful. I've loved being here. It's felt like coming home. It has felt like it's been like a, wow, it has been a big year of, wow, am I travelling again? <laughs> and it's just like, and what is this for? You know, because there's been no real personal wants. It's just been, okay, surrender, surrender. And part of that's been surrendering to the guidance coming through what would appear to be my partner or another and letting go of the part of me that um, wants to be in control of that. And, uh, and I've witnessed that in this community, how um, guidance isn't personal. It, it just, how it comes, it's just that willingness to follow you know, follow and be led. And so that's what I take from this retreat to really deepen that. Just uh, open to the guidance and just take that, you know, wherever that leads me. So, and I know that will, it's because it has been always back to love and it's just, yeah. So it's, yeah, just really love what you and Francis and Sue and Jeff and all, all here have just really come together that shared purpose that unifies you all and is just so amazing yeah okay. thank you uh, yeah for me um, having known well first I'm a bit jealous of all these lovely experiences everyone seems to be having uh but yeah, having known so little before the conference and, and now it's just been a great yeah, learning experience for me. Um, a bit nervous about this idea of a lifelong journey and yeah, this is just, you know, the very beginning. I've only been into this for like a week, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, the very, very beginning um, and there's a lot to go. You're like a sponge, though, <laughs> sponging up from all the veterans. Like, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a bit scary, but also very exciting. Um, and the idea of guidance and and not having to plan out your life. Uh, yeah, I've only learned of this, you know, a week ago, and yeah, that's very exciting. So, not knowing what I'll do next year or the year after. Just letting it come, yeah, sounds really great. And, yeah, that also is a bit scary, but, yeah, I'll get rid of that. Anyway, yeah, so thank you, David, Francis, Melanie, um, everyone. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Um, my memory of Angie before the retreat was um, someone that... was having a relationship with Holy Spirit but being totally suppressed and not being myself in the world, um, having that like secret life with the Holy Spirit but not feeling, I suppose, listening to the voice of you can't live like that, really. Um, you can't live totally um, with the spirit, but I could see that watching David um, and 
although I don't like to have intentions because I know that intentions only bring tensions, but my intention coming to this retreat was to be who I really am and to be with spirit. And so as soon as I got to the retreat, I'm just hugging whoever I see, just letting letting it out. But I do recall when I first walked through those arches coming into this place, um, just saying something profound, which was just me speaking in spirit and looking across at Jeff, and I just saw the twinkle in his eye, and he said something, and con- the connection was like, this is real, like this, this is reality. And to me, this retreat has been the end of an argument, um, not just that I can live with spirit, but that I am living with spirit and um, that it's finished and I can have that joy and happiness being with spirit and living with spirit and all the connections that I've made you know, in this retreat, I just know are connections with my true self um, and that's what I'm seeing and learning to love and accept that those connections are actual connections with spirit, with my true self in what I see. Um, and I'm just so, so grateful to spirit, so, so grateful to all those connections and everything I see and um, not wanting to move from that place. Thank you. One of my greatest concerns uh, whenever I come to a, to a retreat is that I've got to go home. And, um, and the routine, if you kind of say, uh, of being in a retreat, of being spontaneous and um, joyful and um, loving, um, doesn't always stay with me when I go home. So there were two things that I think will be very, very helpful for me. And one thing that Francis said was about desire. Um, I hadn't made a connection that anger is a desire for me. Uh, Frustration and all those uh, ego terms were um, desires. Um, But I can choose to have the other desire, um, which is love and peace and harmony. Um, and to say um, I desire the peace of God more than the anger um, that really had a great impact on me, so thank you for that. Um, Another um, thing that had a great impact was when I had a session with Michael, and uh, and I've seen it in action here, uh, Spirit at Work, and um, and I, in the course, it talks about being motivated, um, but when I come from a sporting background motivation means something quite different um so when michael suggested how about i use the word inspired by spirit um that really had a huge impact as well and i i think i can take those two things with me um which will keep me on track more than um trying to make it all happen um those two things will certainly help me to surrender and to participate and i've seen spirit in action here i've seen what it's like in people and uh, i just adore it i just think it's beautiful so uh, i thank everybody here um i've only been here a short time and i feel as if i've come to the hump you know, when you stay a few days and then you get over the hump and then you move into the... Well, I kind of think I'm at the hump. But um, uh, I've had some lovely people um, help me with that and, uh, and I thank them as well. So thank you, everyone. It's been a big week for me. I haven't really thought much about spirituality for about eight years. So I've had so many insights and aha moments, I don't even know where to start. It started at the conference, and it's just built from there across the week. I guess a big one for me was realising that I didn't have to put this off until life was less busy. Kids had grown up. 
now is the time and you can actually apply all this. It's a, there's so many opportunities to apply it now. It's probably going to be a better opportunity environment to learn in because there's so much opportunity every day. Um, so that was really big. So that's quite liberating because I've, underneath I think I felt restless to get back into it and resume the journey. Um, you give up so much. Being a parent, I thought this was another thing I had to put on hold. <laughs> um, the expression sessions were really powerful for me. And a lot of things were triggered in me by what other people said. Um, so many things. One of them was that my reactions to my son are triggering something from my own childhood. So just being aware of that is hugely helpful because then I can shine the light on that false belief and it's so much easier then to have trust that it doesn't have to be this way, that there's no need to be afraid of anything, that I'm safe. I just have to remember to pause. It's just that pause. That's the thing. Pause to reflect on that. And then to ask for guidance to find out what the way is. Because I don't know what the right way is. Um, and another, another thing that I'm going to carry forward is that I guess it's wrapped up with forgiveness, but instead of um, judging myself and going, oh, I failed again, or, oh, there's that damn ego, you know, I can see it now, like, you get the awareness, but instead of having a negative reaction to it, just almost laugh at it with lightness and joy, like, oh, oh look at that naughty child, <laughs> you know, there it goes again, you know, playing tricks, you know, just to think, view, view the ego with lightness, because it's always going to be there, well, for a long time, probably. And rather than having a negative response to it, just it'll, it'll make it easier for me to dismiss it by looking at it with more lightness, not being so serious about it. And then laughing at it and seeing the joy in it. And I've done that a lot this week, actually. You know, I've caught myself out with a thought or a, a feeling, and I just burst out into laughter. <laughs> My, people walking past me think, what am I giggling about? But, you know, it's just brought up bubbles of giggles in me at various odd times and I've had this awareness of the ego so I found that really useful too mm. and I just wanted to thank you David and Francis for making yourself so available coming all the way to Oz and spending this time with us and with me and everyone as well for coming here and taking time out of your lives because it's been such a beautiful environment and community and makes it so much easier to stay open and embrace the feelings of love that are there, you know, underneath everything else. So thank you, everyone. Um, uh, what was I? Um, yeah, I was um, just went to the loo before and asked the spirit, "What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say?" Because I tend to talk too much, I think. But um, my ego does a little bit. But I feel very expansive right now, and. Um, all you need is love. Da 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 da. All you need is love. Da 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 da. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. That's what Spirit said to me to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. It's been a massive blessing. Um, in every sense of the word, uh, Dave Francis. Um, Jeff for our bedtime talks brother uh, there's been certain key people the guru over here the Indian guru in the middle and <laughs> Pete over here <laughs> Dave yeah so uh, thank you everyone God bless you and, uh, and I just realised heaven's not a state it's 
it's a state of awareness and and we are just leading towards experience and I'm having more of them so I know that I'm on the right track thank you Thank you. Um, I realized then as Sanjeev was giving um, gratitude um, that I was not expressing what I have learned also to take with me, which was a very big stumbling for me. You've mentioned a lot the trusting, that we trust partially with some areas and not with others. And um, I came here with Ross And then there were fears of trust triggered by two very adorable women in here, and I'm so grateful you are here, um, because um, it really um, had me to look at uh, trusting the, the God. And um, I have... so. Today's lesson also is um, in quiet, I hear God's word today. And um, the last two days, God was showing me uh, quite, ten, quite uh, obvious that I really can trust him in small and big matters because where I was praying to see things differently, suddenly miracle was, and then I, was, I saw miracle. And then... I felt relieved that I can trust. And then this morning, also little, I needed to use a hair dryer. I didn't look first, it's still there. I had already washed my hair, and um, I um, was like, okay, there will be hair dryer for me, don't worry, just trust. So then, was I was sitting there, I thought I'd just ask everybody, and I was looking at this woman, and then it was like I, I should be asking her, And I was like, no, she will be the last person here having a hairdryer. So I didn't ask her. And then I asked her, another woman, no, no, I don't have a hairdryer. Another woman, no, I have done not have a hairdryer. And then I said, maybe this blonde, this blonde lady has one. And she said, no, no, but she has one. And she is pointing to the lady I was looking at in the first place. I should have asked, but I came and no, no, she won't have. But it's like, yeah, see, you, if you trust me, then... You will just have immediately what you need. No, 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 no need to go in your head. Work it out. Um, so yeah, I. Long story short, I'm taking with me that I um, cannot trust in all areas, not only in some areas. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sure I speak for, for all of us, but um, Sue, we would like to thank you so much for opening up this most beautiful home to us. And you're such a beautiful human being, and, and I'm sure we all feel the same way. So thank you so, so much. Thank you. It's very touching just hearing you all speak your heart like that. Yeah. Because we're just strengthening it. We, the gratitude pours out of us. And then it strengthens it, and it gets stronger and stronger. It's more simple, we feel more relaxed, yeah. Yeah. Love cannot be far behind the tranquil heart, grateful mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I got a song coming in again. <laughs> It's the beginning of a 
Remember the carpenters? Mm -hmm. This place with the, the sky. Such a feeling's coming over me. There is wonder in most everything I see. Not a cloud in the sky. Got the sun in my eyes. And I won't be surprised if it's a dream. Everything I want the world to be is now coming true especially for me and the reason is clear it's because you are near you're the nearest thing to heaven that i've seen i'm on the top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation i can find is the love that i found ever since you've been around your love's put me at the top of the world thank you wow we make a good chorus <laughs> yeah it's a happy feeling just that happy feeling you want to just sing sing to the world yeah it's very beautiful, very simple too. It's like just having the, the allowance to just merge when you're watching a flower or watching a butterfly fly by or a bird singing in the tree, just the contentment. Like, ah, yes, thank you, let me behold. This is what St. Francis was talking about, communing, just communing. The allowance that that's perfect, we don't have to seek to be into all these busy doings, we can really smell the roses. And this is a good place to, <laughs> to smell the roses and appreciate the burst. <laughs> we have the in full bloom and then we have, here's three right there waiting to come and to burst. And so yeah, I just have such such gratitude, and this is a, we're just winding down on our world tour. One stop, one gathering left in Coochie, <laughs> with our groupies. <laughs> this is good, this is like Aussie groupies, because I have that, when I've been in Colombia, I go around in groupies, and a lot of times in China, in China we not only have just groupies, but we were actually spawning sannyasis. Sannyasis are these uh, wandering mystics from India that just go and they don't have any preparations or plans or money, and uh, we've actually had some trips where the sannyasis have sprung forth. Two of them was there, let's join together. And uh, we were there one time. We got to see this man again on, our, on this recent trip. But in a previous trip, uh, I think we were down in Shanghai and um, he told us the story. We, we met him in a park up in uh, Beijing and he had uh, he was this. He had joined, heard us speak, and he just had let it all go. He was dancing around like like Peter, and then he's down to one suitcase, not even a large suitcase. And then uh, he was going to hop on this train, and uh, he thought, "Why, why do I have a suitcase?" <laughs> uh, and uh, it just had some clothes in, and it it had his. Uh, Course of Miracles book in it. But he was so happy, he was at the train station and he thought, hey, I'm letting go of the suitcase too, that's just too much. So he puts the suitcase out uh, in the uh, railway station and uh, he looks around and he sees uh, a janitor in sweeping at the station and and uh, so he goes up to the janitor and he said, well, there's a suitcase over there, see it? Yeah. It's all yours. He said, there's some clothes in it and everything, but that's not. He said, there's a book in it, and this book will change your life. <laughs> he left his course book, <laughs> as well as the clothes, 
and him, he told the janitor about it, like, just go over and it'll change your life. Then he, off he went. He hopped in the train, he came up to Beijing, and we, we met him in a park, and then uh, we, we were guided to go to this uh, spiritual center where this woman apparently was a very wealthy woman who just had traveled around the world and touched in all spiritual pathways, including A Course in Miracles, and she had a beautiful spiritual center, and uh, we went there to visit her, and all the people there were volunteers. There was no um, money exchanged, and she would fly teachers in from different parts of the world to teach, and there were our two sannyasis that we had seen traveling. They had taken the train to Beijing, and we were like, hmm, not surprised we would find you here. And so that was just a beautiful symbol about how when you really let go. Um, and it's beautiful, like Shola, you've been traveling, both of you have been traveling around, and that's a beautiful symbol of trusting and letting go, one prompt at a time. Here, there, here, there, you know, lots of, a whirlwind of travel. And uh, that's a beautiful symbol of letting go because it's like everything's new. You're meeting new people, you're seeing new sights, and that's just a, another way that the Spirit works. You know, it takes us out of the familiar and helps us get comfortable with that flow of just listen, follow, listen, follow, listen, follow. Very simple. Doesn't have a future plan, just listen, follow. So it's a beautiful witness to all of us that, that it can be that simple. It's been very precious. And another world tour for us, winding down, we've taken so many, I've lost count. Been many, many times around the world. Yeah, I was just thinking about how many, how many rounds we have done in the last few years, I couldn't count anymore, but I feel that um, what has happened for me in the last few years of so much traveling and meeting with people like you is the Spirit really opened up my vision um, because in every one of you I see the Spirit at work in your life. You know, like I just really appreciate it when you you know, this morning Peter spent some time with me talking about, I loved hearing those stories because I, I see the spirit at work with your life, with every moment and how, how he was guiding you and directing you and brought you over to, you know, at the right time and open your heart up. And, and it's just so beautiful for me to to witness that. And it's such an honor to consistently witness that around the world with everyone. And I guess that just is my way of just spirit work, working with me to see this is not how it was, this is not how it was, and just keep opening up this perspective of what is true. And truth is, you know, there is a narrow path, but I'm saying this with with a gratitude in my heart. It's not narrow as in it's hard um, and it's hard to find or it's obscure. It is obscure to the ego, but it's narrow in that it is the only way. You know, you don't no need to search for what can seem to be presented in multiple illusory ways. They're all there, but they're not the way. And the way is clear, is simple, is there, and that's the only way. It's very simple. So for me, I just feel like, yeah, you know, someone just mentioned that we all want to find another way, and somehow this world is ready, um, seemingly external world, but it's actually the calling of our heart to say, I want another way, then, then let's be the other way. Let's be the, the way, the truth, the light. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. How can we be the way, the truth, the light, but be with him and be him, be one with him and be choosing him in every single moment of our life. You know, every decision, every encounter is our chance to be 
one with Him be the way that the world is calling for. So, what an amazing path! What an amazing journey that we are on.、Mm. Yeah, I feel the gratitude too of of this awareness of one mind that we're always. Just experiencing our thoughts, we're always just experiencing our beliefs, and that's just that's just the fact of it. The giving and receiving are the same, and、um, it's beautiful that this seeming election year over the United States. That yeah, the Holy Spirit sent me to Mudgee to a farm、uh, <laughs> during the the final、uh, steps of that process, and I have to say, you know, well, just. Traveling around Europe and then coming back to the States and being exposed to a lot of things, it was actually one time I was on Facebook and、um, people were writing all kinds of things about it and everything, and、uh, it was actually on Facebook where Deepak Chopra was asked、uh, about Do- Donald Trump, and、uh, I found it was just marvelous, absolutely delightful. How Deepak answered the question. In fact, I was sitting there with my phone with the biggest grin from ear to ear when I was、uh, reading, because the the questioner was saying, "Well, what you know, what do you think?" And the questioner was quite stirred up and had a lot of emotions. This was months ago, and、uh, <clears throat> Deepak said, "Oh, or、oh, he's doing us such a favor. He's such a favor. He's showing us the." Co- The collective unconscious. He's showing us all our beliefs. He's doing us such a favor. We should be all be grateful. We should be very grateful for this man. And the, the questioner was quite taken aback. He said, "Well, I, I, I hope I could be grateful and everything." He said, "But yeah, I'm I'm surely not going to vote for the man. And you're surely you're not telling us,、uh, Deepak, that we should vote for them." He said, "That is part of the collective will. We shall see." Yeah. We shall see what the collective will is. We, we must accept the, the collective decision for this, you know. And so, very, very delightful. And really, when you think about it, that's that's the truth of it. That's the truth of everything. That、uh, we're just witnessing、uh, our thoughts.、Uh, people aren't really people. They're just thoughts that are acting out in front of us. And、uh, and thank goodness for that, because again, that's what we're learning from a course of miracles: is that only full gratitude and full <coughs> appreciation is due your brother or your sister. That's it. Only full appreciation. Why? Because they're showing you what's in your awareness, and if you're not aware what's in your awareness, you need to be fully grateful for anything and anyone. Who brings it up into your awareness? Because you cannot heal from it until it's in awareness. Nothing that is pushed into the subconscious mind, nothing that is repressed or suppressed, is going to be part of the healing until you welcome it, until you allow it. And so,、uh, even with yesterday, with the election <coughs> results and everything like that, it's just I get a big smile when I think of, of、uh, Deepak's wisdom. Because、uh, that's truly an answer. That is an answer. It's an answer that everyone can embrace and can see the value of, and、uh, and you can apply it to anything. That's just one specific case of of many many opportunities that we have. And the idea that we're sharing today is that it can be fun. It, the journey can be fun when you stay aware of. Oh, thank you for showing me this. Whatever I need to look at, thank you, Spirit, for showing me this. You can have that gratitude. That thank you for these opportunities to heal and be healed and and extend love and light. So it's been good. It's been good. So, so, so you just opened up for me. So what you're saying is Donald Trump being the being the president of America, of course, one of the strongest you know country in the world. If he has stirred up so many people, in a way he has brought in our awakening, our unhealed part of our mind. That's what you are saying. That's what he has done, and the collective will has elected him to, to in a way, to, to for all of us to get healed around that. 
Because as I understand that if there is anything which upsets me, anything, so if Donald Trump upsets me, or many Americans, I mean it doesn't affect me directly, probably indirectly, but it's an opportunity for healing. That's, that's what these world leaders do. That's what their role is when, when we get... I mean, we have got few here in Australia as well, but... <laughs> <laughs> Pauline Hanson comes to mind, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, 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 she stirs up here quite a bit, so that's, that's, that's a good way of healing. Uh, no, it's a good way. Of, I'm, I'm going to start looking at it like that, yeah. That is actually healing. Hmm. Just yeah. a comment. Yeah. yeah. If you really look at the workbook of A Course in Miracles, the first... The first uh, 23 lessons really is, has got it all. Because you're first getting in touch with uh, your perceptions. Nothing I see means anything with lesson number one. It could be stated, nothing I perceive uh, means anything. And then he works his way, he begins in lesson four and in lesson ten talking about thoughts. So he's. He's talking, I, second one, I've given everything I see, or everything I perceive, all the meaning it is. So, one, two, three are about perception. Four talks about thoughts. Five, six, seven, eight, nine are about perception. Ten is about thoughts. He's immediately going right to work, making the connection between our thoughts and our perceptions. And basically, my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. He's making the direct connection. And he works it right through there to lesson 23, I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts. He's done it. In 23 lessons he's done the whole cycle. If, if you just did the first 23 lessons with total willingness, he's, he's taken, he's straightened out cause and effect, he's said you're upset, you're never upset for the reason you think, that's lesson five, he's told you that. You can escape from the world you see by giving up attack thoughts. Giving up judgments, giving up opinions, giving up grievances, positive and negative. You know, we may have positive judgments around certain people and places and things. We may have negative judgments, but they both are on the same continuum of judgment. You have to give up the positive as well as the negative. You know, that... Uh, you know, even songs about accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. You know, we can we can eliminate the positive and the negative. They're both part of the same continuum. Heaven has neither positives or negatives. There's no opposites in heaven. It's all pure oneness. So once you start to see that, then at lesson 23, I can escape the world I see by giving up attack thoughts. You've been given the answer, you've been given the escape from time and space, and you've been given the gateway to eternity by the Master. And then he's basically saying, practice this. I'll, we'll use other lessons, 24 through 365, to mix it up a little, you know, so you don't get too bored. Mix it up a little, mix it up, but basically, essentially, it's been given. And, and we have to practice it. Because we've been given a gift, and we have to practice it. Today, it was interesting, um, I opened Facebook and it said, oh, here's the demographics, the, the, the pundits now, after the, and the whole thing's done, everybody's fascinated in the who and the what and the how, and how did this happen, and you know, all this crazy, meaningless things, but the demographics, um, I'm kind of interested in the sense that uh, A Course in Miracles is a non-dualistic pathway to God. I call it like a spiritual psychotherapy, because it's got so much you know, psychological word in there, as well as uh, educational vocabulary, and it definitely have your Christian terminology in there. And so when I looked at the demographics, these are the exit polls of when people leave, you know, what are the demographics? I said, okay, who, let's look at the charts. Who voted for Trump? It was in red. He was in red and it was 80% in terms of all religions that voted for Trump. 80% were Christians. 80% were Christians. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, and if if 
you are Christian and you are opening to forgiveness, I would say that, that you must come to the awareness that, that it is impossible to be a victim. And that's what the lesson is for all Christians, obviously for everyone on the planet, it doesn't matter if they're Buddhist or Hindu, Muslim, that is, and certainly with Christianity, the teachings of Jesus are forgive. Forgive and be forgiven, that's, that's from the Bible. And so this, everything is an opportunity to come to a place to see that it's impossible to be a victim. Uh, and then I went through, they have all the different races who voted and everything, and um, yeah, it was a predominantly white who voted for him. Um, good, okay. White Christians, good. We got our Course in Miracles, let's get busy extending the Course. The teachings of the Course. And most of, They were English speaking, the Course is in English, the Course has Christian terminology, a lot of white people voted for it, and then I went through the whole thing. Rural versus urban. It was rural, mostly rural people, not in the cities. Not in New York or Chicago, Los Angeles. Out on the farm. The white people on the farm that are Christians. These are the ones <laughs> that brought, brought Donald to us for the next four years. And whatever happens, the white Christians on the farm are the ones that, <laughs> that are doing it. <laughs> And that's good, because again, like as Deepak has said, we have, it's the collective will and it's all drawn in and it's not really these factors, but, but it's a call for healing, it's a call for love, it's a strong call for forgiveness. And, and the Course of Miracles is the pathway that I used and I'm very grateful for that. I, I put it up on the internet. Um, I remember when the Judge Sweet, they had a copyright controversy on who owns the course. And there were seven different lawsuits going at, you know, at one point. And then finally, a judge in New York State uh, named Judge Sweet threw the case out and said the course had already been in the public domain. So in that decision, um, I already had a website prepared in, in advance. So as soon as the very day that Judge Sweet said the course was not copyrighted, I had it on the web so I could make it available for free for anybody who could read it around the world. That's beautiful. We're, here, we're not here to uh, try to spread it in terms of words and concepts, but as we live it, as we demonstrate it, as we show that it's possible to be happy, to be joyful, then that is the greatest inspiration we could provide. In fact, you might say that's the only thing we can do is, is live an inspired life. We can't change anybody's mind. We, we aren't here to convince anybody of anything. We're here to be inspired and as we extend the inspiration, we keep it in awareness. That's our way of staying in touch, is by giving it away. Not, we're not interested in the who or the what, because it's one mind extending to itself and strengthening this beautiful state of mind in itself. How beautiful, how simple. They're not here to convert anybody. You know, people used to tell us about how many souls have you saved? I, I thought, I'm working on one. I know, I know that's for sure. Uh, I'm not interested in the numbers. How, how many? I'm not asking that question, but I'm working on one. And that's the attitude that we can take, you know. There's an Elton John song where his lyrics are, Hey now, discover your soul. How beautiful. That's what this is about. Discovering our soul. Discovering our spirit. The simplicity of that. And we're about that, you know, we're here, all of us were drawn here for that reason even though we had different intentions and we came seemingly in different contexts, it's quite simple. We came here to, to discover the Spirit, to live the Spirit, to live in the Spirit of love. So it's been 
Yeah, a real honor to be here with all of you and we've had some great experiences and great laughs along the way, really experiencing it can be fun. It can be a relaxed life of fun, just experiencing that fun. And that's how our relationships can be, they can be fun and inspirational. So thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you for both done for each other. Thank you. David, and thank Clyde you. wants to sing a song. Yeah. And Clyde would like to sing a song. Is that the one where you were going to sing sing as well? No, oh, well Clyde starts off and you come in and join him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you want to tell the story? <laughs> well, you can share it. We can get you a microphone. You can share the setup for the story and then um, we can have a... Yeah. yeah, have Clyde go in and you can join. Okay, well, well Clyde, um, this is really difficult for Clyde, and um, but he's doing it, which is pretty cool. And he wants to sing um, Amazing Grace. And, and just very uh, quickly, Amazing Grace was about a captain on a, a boat who was um, very, very uh, brutal and cruel to his uh, slaves. And one night he was uh, writing and he had a spiritual awakening as a result of um, the slaves singing. And, uh, and, and in that moment, his life totally changed and he spent the rest of his life trying to free the slaves. And that is what Amazing Grace is all about. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all good. Uh, do you want a microphone? No. no. It's all good. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace my fear relieved How precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed Amen sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see.
enjoy the close of these retreats because we can find a spot in the sun and have a big group hug and then photos and all just capture the memories of all the happiness that we've shared. The fog is lifted, the clouds are gone, the sun is out. We can go out and shine, shine in the yard.